Welcome to your TV for Education training with Michael. Okay, we're going to talk about access issues. So what do we mean? Well, a teacher can't access the system. A teacher, a student can't access the system. Why is it? Well, first of all, they need to have the address, the web address for your school, which will be your school's name dot functional solutions. If you don't know that, you need to ask us, ask whoever's in charge of the system and they'll give you the web address. So you can put that in any browser. We guarantee it will work. That's the first thing. The next thing you need to do, you need to be able to log in. So up over here will be the login. If you're single sign on, you're already signed on to the system, you'll automatically be logged in, okay? If they are not logged in for whatever reason, or they can't log in, or they've forgotten their password, anything to do with accessing content or accessing TV for education, you need to click on menu. You need to go down to patron. There's a whole bunch of options. Forget about all of them. The only one you're interested in is patron management. Click on the patron management and at the bottom of the patron detail screen, click on find and go ahead and search for their first name or surname, M-I-K-E, Mike. -E, Mike. Okay, and then what you do is you go, ah, oh, Mike Scott, that's the person. Now, Mike Scott is a teacher and he can't access that TV for education button. As a matter of fact, he doesn't even have it. Well, in that case, the reason why he can't access it is because his role is a student. So for any teacher to be able to access the TV for education content, his role as a minimum has to be a teacher and not a student. Okay, so they need to be either a teacher, a librarian, okay, or an administrator. If they're not any one of those, they will not have that TV for education button. They will not be able to add content into the school's collection at all. Okay. If they are a student, which is correct, students can access, students can only access the school's collection. They will not be able to access TV for education, only the school's collection. So they need to be a student and they have to be in a particular year level, class grade as we call it. So if I'm a student and I have been classified as a year nine student, I can only watch content that is appropriate for year nines and below. If I'm a staff, I can access almost anything on the system. Okay, so that's how access would work. If they cannot log in for whatever reason, or they've forgotten their password, Okay, not if you single sign on, your single sign on is controlled by your school IT department. But if you don't run single sign on and a parent or a, a, sorry, a student or a teacher can't access it, bring them up here, click on change password at the bottom, give them a password. And my recommendation, give everybody the same password, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, confirm it, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. Okay, then go change password. Okay, now when you change their password, make sure it says change password or next login, make sure it's yes, and then go save that record. And you can say, all right, Mike, go and go ahead and log in and you, your password is password and it'll ask you to change your password. You can have anything. And if they say, oh, I remember my old password. Can I use it? Say, you can use anything. The only trick is it has to be five characters or more. And that's all there is to be able to access TV for education. Thanks for watching. If you need help with TV for Education, you can email us at support at functionalsolutions.com.au or you can go to our website and leave us a message or go to our support page on our website to get additional tips and tricks, training and how-tos.